WKMG is hitting the road, focusing in on that 32771 zip code in Sanford. And one of the things we heard about from you, your neighbors, worried about safety. Yeah, especially when your neighborhood does not have any sidewalks. We sent News 6 investigator Eric Sandoval to check out the issue and see what is being done to get results. Residents who live along this street first alerted us to this issue, and I want to show you what they're talking about. We're literally having to climb over people's front yards here in order to walk down this street. There are no sidewalks here, and it really continues all the way to downtown Sanford. The folks who live around here say it's a safety issue, and they want the city to get results. So what, what do you think of the neighborhood so far? Love the neighborhood. Yeah? Love the neighborhood. Renee McKenzie moved to this Sanford neighborhood about four months ago. So when you moved in and you saw there were no sidewalks? So I was okay with these streets because they're very untraveled. Um, that street, it however, is quiet. Yeah. yeah, it's very quiet here. That street, however, it's 25, but no one goes 25. She's talking about Mellonville Avenue, which is just steps away. She wrote to us about this on ClickOrlando.com under our Hits the Road section. She told us we really need a sidewalk on Mellonville connecting Highway 46 to 20th Street. People have to walk, bike, walk their dogs in the road. What is your concern? So my biggest concern is just safety, um, especially the kids and families that are, um, for instance, my neighbor has two little children. Uh, one in five, and he, you know, he, he has no sidewalk on his whole property. We walked across lawns to Suzanne Burleson's home. And I'm worried about them tripping or having some kind of hazard. She lives right on Mellonville. So when you look out your window and you see a family with a stroller or kids going to the bus stop, you know, what, what goes through your mind? I pray that they're going to be okay. Really? Yes. It, it, I mean, you see how, how busy it is and how the traffic, they fly through here. Yeah. News 6 investigated and we found out the city of Sanford uses money from Seminole County's one cent sales tax for improvements like this. And so far they spent more than 30 million dollars on new roads and yes, new sidewalks too, in neighborhoods with the same issue as Mellonville. Kids are walking to school. We're putting sidewalks in those neighborhoods to keep the kids off the streets. We met up with the city of Sanford's public works project manager on Mellonville. We would, you know, definitely open to the idea, you know, to have one, you have one designed and put into place. And Jeff Davis says they've looked into this before, but he says there's a problem here. These big oak trees. And they're just not small oak trees either. They're large established oaks. So you would ideally put a sidewalk straight down there, but there are trees in the way. Yes, sir. On both sides of the road. So where do you, where do you put one? And they're old trees. And they're old trees. Beautiful trees. Correct. And the residents didn't want that? or, Well, the, we, from past experiences, about people really love their trees, that we decided, you know, we can hold off on this. But Davis says the city may take another look at putting sidewalks in here. They would first need to wait for additional funding, though, and resident approval before any construction could happen. We want to be able to help you too. scan the QR code in the corner of your screen. Email me as much information as you can jot down just so we can get the ball rolling on this. See if we can help you get results. We're in Sanford, Eric Sandoval, getting results, News 6. A lot of things you have to consider when you make changes. It was good yes. storytelling because the whole yeah. time I'm watching Eric, I'm like, give these people a sidewalk. And then you see those big, beautiful oaks. Yeah, and, and if you, you start cutting down those trees, that's going to make a lot of people really angry. Right, especially yeah. if you've had that in your yard mm -hmm. for years. Well, we are highlighting stories like these for the next week as we prepare to hit the road to the 32771 zip code. One week from today, we are bringing the successes and shortcomings of the community to you live from Hollerbox German Restaurant from 4 o'clock until 7 p.m. We might have spatzel in our mouths. Oh, we something. definitely will be having some I of that. I sure hope so. 